Scorpio. This is your Orisha message for September 30th to October 5th. Let's see what card comes out for you. Of the enslaved prisoner. A slave with hands and feet tied to a wooden log and several chains locked around him. Nobody shares his pain. The punisher is not present either, and the slave's destiny is adrift. His eyes are closed, revealing an inner effort to survive and his mental com communication with Oloran or Oloron. God for the Africans, asking for help and salvation. His hope is based on his knowledge that there is another life beyond this one. His faith is the immortality of the soul, to live and to cease living are imaginary solutions. Existence is anywhere else. The Surrealist Manifesto, Le Sagittaire, 1946. This card represents any person who has been persecuted because of his or her ideas or thinking, a prisoner of ignorant person, who, many times in the name of high ideas, singles out, accuses, and finally executes innocent people whose sole crime is the preservation of opposing ideas and thoughts. The blacks have not been freed from slavery. On the contrary, how many tears they have to weep to defend their dignity as human beings. It was hard for them to be acknowledged as having the same rights as white people, the freedom to think, feel, and do, using as a means of expression the same liberty afforded to any other person in the world. Sectarianism and discrimination affect not only color, great men and women have lived in this world defending what they believe to be fair and deserving. Their truth need to be the same as that of others because each of us must find his or her own truth. The fight is tough, Scorpio, though soul enriching. For such a purpose, we need to use the free will that God has given us. These are great human beings, as I said before. For me, the greatest of them all was Jesus of Nazareth, master of masters, enlightened and enlightener of minds and soul, all love and love in all. Dear Nazarene, you were maltreated, singled out as a criminal, executed. Centuries have passed, but your name still beats in the hearts of millions of human beings who look to you for redemption. Another example is St. Cecilia Petronis of musicians who died singing in her horrible matrix dome as if wishing to transmute her pain into a harmonious melody. She defended her faith, her greatest treasure. Socrates, too, a greater philosopher who created the Mayutic method, Know Thyself, the Truth that disturbed many persons was accused with absurd pretexts and statements arising from ignorance and stubbornness. He was sentenced to death and died in the culmination and proeminence of his moral integrity after rejecting an escape plan by his friends. As long as we are not free thinkers, we will be prisoners of our fears, Scorpio, and aliens to our intelligence. We can refer to the myth of the cave told by Plato in Republic. He speaks of a group of prisoners chained in a cave where they can see only the shadows projected by the fire on one of the cave walls. This is their only truth. But if only one of them could be freed and go out of the cave, he would see a different reality illuminated not by the fire, but by the sun. At first, the freed man would be perplexed and shocked with his new visions. He would not believe his first vision, 
But then his eyes would become accustomed to the light, to that reality, and he would acknowledge it as true. If he were to go back to the cave and tell the others what he has discovered, he would be laughed at. And if he tried to free them and take them to the light, they would probably kill him if they could. The meaning of the enslaved prisoner in the upright position, Scorpio, you are the victim of defamation, gossip, and felonies around you. Strengthen yourself. You will need it because your surroundings are exerting pressure on you. You will be subjected to unjustified morals, physical and or spiritual punishment. You are not allowed to be or do. Loneliness, execution, suffering. Everything is hard to attain, sacrificial and difficult at the same time. Laments are hardship, retaliation and binding. Keep your chin up, Scorpio.